Okay, just waiting on my dynamo hub, which I'm going to place on top of the rotor here. Probably need a spindle to get the dynamo far enough away from uh, the magnets on the rotor. Um, just a, a quick overview of this rotor. It's a CD-ROM um, rotor, and the bearings are actually out of a, a fan, a computer fan rotor. Um, and that's just the remains of a computer fan rotor. Um, the there's I've then used the uh, the inside iron lining of uh, an uh, computer fan rotor, and it has got two magnets uh, in under here. And then I've just basically glued that together, and then stuck the four magnets on the outside. So it's quite a powerful rotor. It's very, um, very strong. So the reeds uh, are quite far away from the rotor itself. I've got, um, I've, I've used other magnets to polarize the switches as per Mag's love and instruction. And uh, to give you an idea of of how it, how it uh, strong it gets, okay. At the moment, without tuning it, there it's probably running at about six or seven hundred RPM. See current drills quite low. I'm not using polarizing magnets at the moment. If I just grab one here. Now the current drawer has gone up. I'm not terribly worried. I've, I've got about uh, 4,000 RPM on 50 milliwatt before, but it runs very nicely at 20 milliwatts and uh, 2,500 RPM. So I'm hopeful that the Dynamo won't create too much drag. I've run other DC motors on top of this one and uh, seems to handle the drag pretty well. And I think it's got just got a lot more torque because of uh, the six magnets rather than the four, and these are quite powerful magnets. And this is one of them. And if we can also put this in here, so it spins the other way. Still running about 20 milliwatts there. But I'm sure this effect is um, more about the magnet influencing the reed than it is about uh, anything else. Yeah, but it is a quite powerful. Just waiting on the uh, the dynamo that I've bought on eBay, and uh, hopefully we'll have that in a few days.